Hey there. So we're here talking about naming assets today and writing the formulas of assets from the names. So let's start with our binary assets. So binary means two elements. These ones don't have oxygen. So no oxygen. So that's going to be like HCl, HBr, HF. We'll use those three as our examples. Actually, let's throw in one more. I'll throw in one that's got more than one H. Go H3n. Okay, so one thing notice, they all start with H because they're acids. So acids are always going to start with that H. They have that H plus slash hydronium ion. That's how we know it's an acid. Now these all have something in common. They all start with the prefix hydro. So binary acids always start with the prefix hydro. And then from there, we just write the element stem. So this is chlorine. So we're going to use that chlor, but change it to ic. Just like when we were doing ionic compounds and everything ended in ick, same deal. Or I'm sorry, everything ended in ide. Now instead of ending it in ide, so it was chloride, now it's chloric. So where you would have put that ide, you put the ick. Or this one would be hydrobromic, hydrofluoric, and hydronitric. And then they all end with acid. So this one is hydrochloric acid, hydrobromic acid, hydrofluoric acid, hydronitric acid. Now you can note that this one here is H3N. That's because your nitrogen has a minus three charge and your hydrogen has a plus one charge. So we do need to balance those charges there. So you have hydronitric acid. So one for you to practice, give this a shot, hydrosulfuric acid. See if you can write the formula for that real quick. So pause the video and write the formula. Okay, so hopefully you started with an H, no matter what, if it's an acid, you're gonna start with an H. You saw sulfuric, you're like, oh, okay, sulfur. And then you check the charges. And you see sulfur is minus two, and then the hydrogen's plus one. So that is H2S, hydrosulfuric acid. So remember, if we have that hydro in front and it's binary, there's no oxygen, it's just hydrogen and another anion. So let's try now what we call the ternary acids. So ternary, if binary meant two, ternary means three elements. And one of those elements is oxygen. So all of these have oxygen. And these are actually based on your polyatomic ions. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have your ion sheet. Because that's gonna help you recognize your polyatomic ions. So I wanna show you a few here. So let's give you the name. We've got nitric acid, nitrous acid, And we'll see where we go from there. So they sound really similar. Notice that there's no hydro out front. So we know hydronitric acid is H3N, but nitric acid, not so much. So nitric acid is HNO3, and nitrous acid is HNO2. So let's break down where this comes from. We're going to break this apart into its ions. So this ion is, we have the hydronium and the nitrate. So that's if I had reacted this with water. So I'll just add this over here. So say I had reacted this with water and we'd have that proton transfer, Rod said Lowry, then this would become hydronium H3O plus and this would become the nitrate ion. So I'm going to write nitrate there. We're going to remember that. Whereas over here, we still have the hydronium but this is NO2, 
that becomes the nitrite ion. So notice how an eight ion gets us an ic acid, and an it ion gets us an us acid. So remember this is the terrible chemistry disease, eight ic itis, eight ic itis. An eight ion gives us an ic acid, and an it ion gives us an us acid. So first let's try to name one. So do a little practice. Um, I've got H2SO4. So pause the video for a second and see if you could name that. Again, remember you want to figure out what this ion is. So we know the hydrogens are not part of it. The hydrogens are going to go form hydronium. So you just want to figure out what this SO4 ion is to name it. So hit pause and go figure that out. Okay, so if we ignore these hydrogens and we go look up SO4, on our ion sheet, we're going to find out that this is sulfate. So sulfate is SO4 minus 2. And we know that an 8 ion gives us an ic acid. So that becomes sulfuric acid. I know that one is a little weird in the way you add the ic because it's not sulfic acid. But there's always going to be a few that break the rules just depending on how they sound. And so we actually just do sulfuric acid. We just add it right to the end instead of doing the step. Okay, so let's do one the other way. It's a little harder to go the other way. I'm going to give you, oops. I want the formula for phosphoric acid. Phosphoric acid. So again, you need to look at the name of the acid. That's an ic. So that means it's going to come from the phosphate ion. So an ic acid gives us the 8 ion. So you're going to need to go find the phosphate ion. So pause the video and write your formula. So we know that an acid always starts with an H. So we're just going to put that H there. I went and I found my phosphate ion, and it's PO4 with a minus 3 charge. So if that's a minus 3 charge, I'm going to need three hydrogens to balance out that minus three. So that acid formula is H3PO4. Now, what if I had given you phosphorus acid? So phosphorus acid comes from the it ion. So I'm looking for phosphite. So that would instead be H3PO3. So phosphite still has the same charge. It's still minus three but the formula is PO3 instead of PO4. And that's how we write names and formulas for acids.